Hey everybody, it's Kevin Ramon here, back with you this time. It's a moment we've all been waiting for, right? With another awesome, tacular, through the mail, TTM autograph recap and video monsters. for you guys. I mean, yeah, we've just been collecting autographs. We have like a, a whole assortment of crap to share with you guys. And uh, yeah, I've been impatiently waiting to do this. I know you guys have been impatiently waiting for a video. So without further ado, guys, um, let me just share with you uh, some of the things that I've got back in the mail autograph-wise. Uh, those of you guys that are new to the channel, uh, one of my favorite hobbies is uh, writing letters to celebrities in hopes of getting an autograph back in return. So, um, really cool. So you got one back in the mail. Well, kind of. So I texted him on Facebook, but he sent it through the mail. So I, mean, yeah. I still got it through the mail, basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Same thing. But, yeah, yeah, you did get it through the mail. Yeah, yeah, show, show everybody. So, it's, his name is Stormin Norman. I just gotta mess up on that. Stormin Norman Stormin from uh, Norman. Brett Michaels' band. I texted him on Facebook and he sent me a picture. Brett Michaels' band. Well, he signed the back of a picture, so what? I just flipped it where he signed it and then printed out that picture of him with Brett. But he signed that for me, which is pretty dope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And in case you guys don't know this guy, who are you, man? I am Brett, the drummer from in the Black Rift Street. Introduce yourself. And we got Sashi Hammaker, who's doing some camera work for us Bass today. Player. Bass player of the Black Heart Strings. We're a bitchin' rock and roll band. If you haven't checked us out, what are you guys waiting for? Check us out now. Like us on Facebook and Instagram. Hey, yeah, ask guys. for an autograph, we'll hook you up. Yeah, we will. Actually, we have uh, Christmas photos that we took with Santa. Alright, so we, we want to show them. signing those. Yeah. Yeah, we will autograph those for you if you guys want. Just uh, send us your address down, well, not the comment section, but send me a message and I will get that out to you. Um, Alrighty, gang, well, um, I'm going to share a little bit of what I got through the mail. This is one that I don't think the kiddos uh, know, but are you familiar with a singer named Chris Christopherson? No, but see that one. I want that. <laughs> okay, well, Chris Christopherson is a country singer, and he's um, one of like the OGs. He has songs with Johnny Cash and Willie Nelson. Uncle and, Cracker. Yeah, they had a band together called um, Highway Men, right? And um, with uh, Waylon Jennings too. But anyway, so um, I had him sign a, a CD. That's his autograph. Uh, it's yeah, so small. it is really small. Well, the guy, I think he's that's either, who she said. He's either in his late 80s or he's 90. He's pretty up there in age. But he's a living legend, so I really wanted his autograph. And so he signed uh, this Johnny Cash, Willie Nelson CD. Uh, he has a few songs on here. I hope he signed like the front. I sent him a picture to sign. Oh, really? But he kept it. So the, I actually got. I had a picture <laughs> of him. Hey, buddy. He signed everything. He signed everything else that I sent him, which well, is really... Said, I sent him a picture, but he didn't sign it. Yeah, but it's okay. I'm, <laughs> I'm thankful for what he did sign. So he's also an actor in some uh, pretty well-known movies, but he was also in Planet of the Apes, so I had him sign my movie Who's cover. Class? I'm not really sure. He doesn't play an ape, I know that, but... He is in the cast. That's so. the one that was filmed in Ridgecrest, isn't it? Yes. Yeah, sure. Yeah, this is the one that was filmed in Ridgecrest. That pretty cool. pretty That's cool. One of my favorites. And he's also in this movie. Uh, not a lot of people know this one, but it came out when I was a kiddo. Um, called I See You with Sylvester Stallone. He's also I in this movie. spelled I. Yeah, I know it's pretty cool. It's a really cool uh, psychological thriller. Kind of like gets your mind thinking and. It's like, whoa, what the heck did I just watch? I love movies like that's that. But yeah, um, so um, that's the first one I got to share. I don't share. think I got any movie autographs in yeah. this time. I got all, like, musicians. All right, all right. Well, you can share another one. You got anything else cool? Uh, this one's not as cool, but are you familiar with the band Neon Trees? Neon Trees, yes, I, I so, am. So the opener band, I forgot they called, but they threw the stick to me. It was broken, and I got them to sign it. Mike Pigs. Pretty cool. cool. I guess. Hold it straight, Brad. <laughs> Okay. I got that one. And then uh, actually yesterday I went to a concert. It was um, highly, what are they called? Highly, uh, highly suspect. Highly suspect. And Car and um, the other band's called Car, and then um, Good Boy Daisy. And um, I got Good Boy Daisy, Sign It, and Car. So there's Car, and then yeah, some, some of the other people. Got some signed drumsticks there. Drummer from Good Boy Daisy right there. I think this is actually. Okay, rotate the, the whole thing around. <laughs> it's hard. <laughs> it's pretty cool, dude. He beat the crap out of this stick right there. Holy cool. crap. That is rad, dude. Zest yeah, sticks. Next one, what do you got? Really, really cool. Well, you know what? Since we're talking about music and stuff, 
um, Brent was actually there with me, him and the momager, um, because I'm really shy um, when it comes to in-person signatures and asking for an autograph and things like that. But uh, there was a local celebrity in town who was like promoting her like magnetic jewelry oh. business at Santa's art shop. And so, oh, real quick, funny thing is, she was my health teacher in freshman year. Yeah, she and, told me and she's a sub at the high school yeah. yes. that we go to. So get this, you know, back in I don't know how many years ago, many moons ago, I had her as a um, well, I forgot. I think she was uh, substituting for my science class, and a buddy next to me told me a little bit about. You know, um, what she's known for, you know, which really blew my mind. I'm like, oh, my God, I always wanted her she's autograph. <laughs> yeah, I really wanted her autograph bad. I was telling Brett, wow, she's still alive. I need to get her autograph, dude. But anyways, um, we're talking about someone named uh, Jerry Hornstein, Mrs. Hornstein. If you're watching this, thank you very much. Um, but she was in Michael Jackson's Thriller video. She was one of, like, the, the backup uh, dancers. The dancers yeah. yeah, the zombie dancers. So really cool, I had her sign this, and I was just like, I was really shy. I was like, can you please sign this? And she couldn't have been nicer, and she was really happy to do it. So really cool. Thank you so much, Miss Hornstein. This and one's an older one, but... Yeah. Oh, this one's really cool, guys. <laughs> that sticker. I need to print out a picture to put right there. That's inappropriate, sir. I'm going to tell your mother. <laughs> anyway, so we got to see Cool and the Gang and Digital Underground, and obviously the original guy... What's his name? Uh, Shock, G. Shock G. He passed away. He was in town too, but his son, Young Hump, was um, performing. He came out to the crowd, got a picture with him, and yeah. I got to sign the ticket. Those of you guys that don't know... That's your inappropriate sticker, man. Yeah, I already told them. I'm and telling you. I need well. to print out an actual picture of Digital Underground put there, but I just didn't. So I'm like, that fits the rap industry type thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so God. Silly. Yeah, you even drew, like, the face he made. Yeah, the so and all that. you guys that don't know, Digital Underground did the song Humpty Dance. Yeah, there's so, him right there. That old school rap the group right Okay, put it down. We don't need it anymore. But yeah, that's pretty cool that he took the time to draw himself on your little ticket there. So, he, he drew something different. Yeah. Sasha's ticket. Yeah, mm -hmm. I forgot to bring it, but he signed my CD too. Like, uh, like you guys were lucky to get him like right after he got off stage. But like, I, I went around following him around. I'm like, I need that guy's autograph. So I literally went and followed him around. That's what we had to do too, because the, the security guard was being me. He's like, no. Don't let him sign stuff. Yeah, security the dude came guard out to really... say hi. He was taking pictures with us. He was chill. But yeah. Dude, he was out. Yeah, I think he was drunk or something. Yeah. But he, was, he was nice. He was cool. Really cool. So that's Young Hump from uh, Digital Underground. Pretty cool, Brett. I'm All right. Up. Now, I got some movie-related ones for you guys that are into movies. More bangers. But this is kind of sad. Um, okay. I got back, um, was it Marvin Berry from um, Back to the that's Future. Such a cool one. But the signature oh, didn't dude. stick, as you can see in the back. Mm. Yeah, so like, because he put them on top of each paper? other. Oh, if it was like a normal paper, I think it would have been better. Yeah, as you can mm. see, the gold Sharpie. Gold Sharp, excuse me, gold Sharpies are hit or miss. Especially I think it's when it's sending like an actual in the mail. picture, that's why. If it was like a normal piece of paper, it would have been yeah, better. Yeah, so, but really cool. I could kind of read it. This one says, um,. Be an Earth Angel, so you that's kind of cool. Too. Yeah, it's really you kind of see it. And then this one says, "Kenneth, it's your cousin Marvin Barry." So really cool. I love Back to the Future. And uh, you're a big fan I, of Back to the Future. I am. I don't get that reference. It's your cousin. Yeah, oh, that's, what, he says right that's there. what he says in the movie. It's your cousin Marvin Barry. You know, cause um, remember the part where Marty McFly's playing Johnny B. Good? Yeah. Yeah, that song's written by Chuck Berry. So he's like, yeah, you know that sound you're looking for? Oh. Listen to this. Yeah, so that's, that's it. About. Yeah, so he and seen was really cool. and But he did sign um, this Back to the Future DVD cover, which uh, Where is he? he's right here. And he signed it as Marvin Berry as well, which is really cool. I forgot that I even mailed this out, Wait, <laughs> to they, be honest. Come out good yeah, pretty good. I have a bunch of signatures yeah, on this. On there. You got, like, Doc on there or anything? Um... I don't have Doc, but I have the principal, you know, the one who says, you're right. a slacker. Yeah, that's him right there. And this guy played the cop. So, um, yeah, well, you know, like, kind of, like, lesser known people. This guy right here passed away. His name was Ira Killer. He actually uh, designed the car. Oh, really? The DeLorean. Yeah, it was really cool. And then this guy was one of the directors, Bob Gale. And, yeah, so really cool. He got an assortment of people. But yeah, really cool. He signed that for me you as well. You need like an actual poster to get that filled up. That'd be cool. <laughs> I know. Oh, well, this is actually my second one. I have another one with really? other people in it too. <laughs> yeah, so I've been I've been filling that one up in the mail. All of those were through the mail, by the way. 
Did you get to your TSLM? Um, yeah, I'm gonna get to that soon. Okay, cool. Do you have any more you wanted to share? Oh, well, sure. You have Let's a do... bunch on the floor, bud. Let's do this one. <laughs> so my mom bought this New Kids on the Block CD, and it came with all their autographs, and she gave the autograph to me, so I got all of the autographs right there with the album cover, which is kind of dope. And then this one's really cool. I went to Papa Roach, Shine Down, and Spirit Box, and I got Shine Down's autograph for like 30 bucks on a CD, and I'm like, that's a good deal for all the autographs. I even print out pictures of them right there and cut it up, made it fit. That's really cool, dude. I love that one. That new kids on the block one's rad. That one's cool. I'm glad I got that. You totally. That. So yeah, since you were talking about purchases, um, this is kind of technically through the mail. We had to wait in the mail to get them, but um. So I ordered, I pre-ordered, um, you can't really tell what it is, but this is uh, Ed Sheeran's new CD, his latest CD, which I heard a couple times. But yeah, Sashi doesn't like Ed Sheeran, sorry buddy. But um, yeah, you uh, pre-order it, and it was really cheap, it was like maybe 15 bucks at I the most. I for cheap and they actually signed it. Yeah, well, I kind of wish, let me know in the comment section what you guys think about this. If they're going to sell it as a signed CD, I kind of want the front signed, you know what I mean? Or like at least in here or in back here. I think that way, no one can resell them. I think is what. Yeah, but what Maybe. they do is a lot of these artists they put like a little slip in here and yeah, then they sign like that. Yeah, kind of like the new kids and the shine down. That's yeah, not really, that was the album cover. That was just a printed picture on top of the CD when I bought it. Yeah. I don't have to have the CD on me, but yeah, those are just pictures of them. Yeah, and that's the cool, same though. thing with the new kids one too. But uh, yeah, this is Ed Sheeran's autograph. <laughs> what do you think, Sashi? So do you, stupid. Do you like his autograph? No. <laughs> but I actually... <laughs> it's just a wiggle. Brent laughs. It's a warm, dude. That was hey. like 15 bucks. Yeah, I paid 15 bucks. So 15 just... bucks for that? <laughs> okay, you basically paid for the CD. I'm oh, dead. Yeah. Jesus. So, I, I would like, not waste my money on that shit. shit. It's just a bitch. <laughs> 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 oh, fuck. <laughs> So I, I actually, it. I actually prefer the pictures, like, because I like to frame them more than having them in the CD. He's yeah, different, but like, for framing, it's actually easier for me. So I'm like, all right, I'm yeah. happy with that. Yeah, and most people are like that. Most people frame their stuff. I am really weird. I just like to. We have too much. Yeah, I do have a lot. I have a lot of signed CDs and DVDs. But anyways, um, here's another artist. I don't know if you guys have heard of him, Stephen Sanchez. Better than that. That's smart though, because he had a case for the autograph. Though, to be fair. Yeah. Think about that. This one, yeah. Uh, I don't know who that you guys, is. You know who it is, Sashi? Well, he sings the song. Let me see what his hit Angel is. Face. Until I Found You. Do you know that song? No. Uh, it sounds I, slightly familiar. Yeah, if I, I played know. it, you would hear, you would know. Oh, I heard that on the radio. But it's a song that's really popular right now. This is even worse, guys. Okay, so this is the CD. Okay. <laughs> Look at this tiny little insert here. This is where his signature is. But at, oh least, you my. Get a picture, at least you get a picture of him. <laughs> it's not focusing. Hold on. There we go. It focused. Yeah. Okay. So. Was that nutsack? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Steve O's autograph. <laughs> Steve O's autograph. Okay, I do yeah. like the picture. That is better. Yeah. What do you guys think of Steve O's autograph? Let me know down in the comments section. I want it so bad. Yeah. Look it up and then tell us what you guys think of Steve O's autograph from Jackass. But yeah. <laughs> so that's the insert for that one. How much is uh, that? Around the same price. Yeah. I think actually this one was like 20 and then 27 with shipping and all that. So but, the Shine yeah. Down was 30 at the concert. Which yeah. was funny because the drummer was selling a drum head signed by him for 75 Oh, wow. And they were selling guitar strings signed by just a guitar player for like 20 I'm like, why would someone do that? We could spend 30 bucks for the CD and get all of them. Yeah. Uh, that's stupid. But I'm like, I'm I mean, not. if you like one one person more than the other person <laughs> but i yeah i got a point all righty gang so why don't we talk about our blink 182 autographs or blink oh my god it's blink 182 better um, oh you have the same one yeah yeah we do we have the same one um this is uh mark hoppus's uh new uh, okay, so picture book i'm kind of disappointed so that was gonna be like an actual book to read like stories but it's just a bunch of pictures did you already open it yeah yeah okay well yeah open it up and share with um the audience, I'm gonna look for my cassette because I think I dropped this, it. This was 15 bucks. I mean, it's cool, but like I said, I, I was expecting more from Open it. Open her up. Here's an autograph right there. Those are like the only words besides that. It's really just a bunch of pictures like that he took during his cancer journey. These pictures of him with his hair. Hmm. 
Yeah, I mean, it's cool to have his autograph, but I have his autograph like three times already. <laughs> yeah. But it's just literally just a bunch of like pictures, basically. It's a picture book. It works. 15 bucks, I mean, you gotta love that. It's cool. Yeah. All right, some more uh, Blink-182 related stuff. Got the cassette right here. And um, this is actually pretty cool. I mean, if you want to tell the story about it, but... um. Mark Hoppus's um, old girlfriend uh, came to watch our band practice here, and I was just like, I cannot just like this not ask her. If you go to our page, there's a picture. You can see what she yeah. looks like and all that. Yeah, yeah. So check that out on the Black Heartstrings page. But I was like, I just, I know she's not a celebrity or anything like that, but I have the Blink-182, the new album. I mean, it's the closest thing. I was like, I'm not just not going to ask her to uh, not sign something for me. So anyways... So she signed it as Mark's old girlfriend. And then uh, after that, a week later, um, those of you guys that watch the channel might know, but um, Mark Hoppus's father, uh, Tex yes. Hoppus, runs the USO building in town. And we play it all the time. He got he actually got me Mark Hoppus's autograph. I showed him the other video, but... Yeah, yeah. If you watch uh, Brett's autograph room, you'll see Mark's ho um, Mark Hoppus's autograph all there. Stuff. Yeah, in the picture with Tex. But uh, yeah, so Mark, Mark's dad uh, read... Uh, that uh, Mark's old girlfriend saw you today. He's like, who's old Mark's old girlfriend? And I'm like, Jennifer. And he's like, oh, yeah. And then so he, he signed it as Mark's dad. And I just love it because it's, it's so cute. He actually drew a heart, too. <laughs> so <laughs> I think it's hilarious because she drew a heart and he drew a heart. <laughs> so, um, now we have to get Mark's mom. <laughs> yeah, Mark's She's in mom. San Diego. Oh, <laughs> man. Get Mark's stepmom. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, all right, all right, all right, enough, enough. But yeah, I thought that was funny. And Mark's dad is kind of popular with uh, Blink-182 as it is, right? They talk about him yeah, on tour and whatnot. they talk about him. Like, so our guitar player, Noah, he went to the concert. They're talking about how his dad was giving blowjobs in the Danny's bathroom. And Noah's like, I know that guy. Yeah, yeah. Mark, yeah, Mark's, uh, Mark's dad be that's getting it on. Said, that's what Tom said to Mark. Yeah, he be getting it on in the Danny's bathroom. <laughs> I'm dead, I'm dead. Okay. Alrighty guys, so so last week You guys. How you doing? Good, good, good. Okay. So last week? <laughs> At band camp. Alrighty guys, so last week, um the band and I, you know, Brett, Sashi and Mama Drew. Oh yeah, Noah couldn't make it, huh? He was out of town, huh? Noah's yeah, a poop. He had yeah, a Christmas party. Yeah, so Noah couldn't make it unfortunately, but we all got to see uh the band TSOL. And it's very rare that we get like, you know, yeah, at, bands like that. Yeah, so. well known bands, you know, coming into our little hometown here. Although but, Asia Orange is coming up next. So yeah, they're coming up next. So yeah, they're getting some really cool punk bands coming out here to Ridgecrest, California. But anyways, so um Brett, what did you get from the TSOL concert? Why do you say that? I don't even know how to say their name, buddy. Well, but, uh, the, okay, so this is signed by the opening band. They're um, what, what are you? Well, they're the it? second opening. They're kind of like a ska band, like, but they did yeah. like Mexican. They're mm. singing in Spanish, so it's like Mexican punk. Yeah, yeah but the it was cool. Trombone player drew a trombone when he signed his trombone. name. Trombone. Whatever. <laughs> I didn't, I wasn't able to get all of them, but I got most of them. That's really cool, and dude. And the dude gave us uh, free merch and stuff like that. He was a cool guy. All right, man. Yeah, and so let's talk about what we got from TSOL. <laughs> now, Brett, I have to thank you a lot for this because Brett stuck around after the show so, to try so to get the everyone. The funny part is they kicked us out. <laughs> they kicked all the kids out, and so we left, and I'm like, no, I'm going back in there. They're in there. I'm getting their autographs. <laughs> so I snuck by the bouncer dude. He didn't see me. I walked in there by myself, and I was able to find all of them, the drummer, the bass player, the guitar player, and the lead singer. Actually, no. The lead singer was after I got everyone else. He was in the minivan. Yeah. He's cool, though. But anyways, show him what you got. Yeah, yeah. So with Brett's help here, um, I got Ron, Ron Emery, um, who's, like, been in the band the longest, you know. Well, actually, no, the singer has, too, but he's been in and out of the band. But after the show, I was like, Ron, 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 come here. And then he started signing stuff. So I got him first to sign uh, my TSOL CD. And then um, that was it. Like I was like, okay, well, I'm happy with him, you know. Is there but blue? Uh, not on this album. But um, yeah. But then Brett waited, you know, after the show and got everybody else to sign this for me got as well. Jack's autograph. So, yeah, Jack. Jack was the guy in the minivan. <laughs> who I thought he was gonna leave. So, I thought you went up there to get his autograph. The reason he was why driving he was there away. 
is because he just got out of the hospital is what he told me, and he has stomach problems, so that's why he's sitting in the car. Oh, wow. Yeah, he said he fucked his stomach. That's his exact word. Yeah. Oh, wow, poor guy, but he was still kind enough to sign. Oh, yeah, yeah he even gave us a picture. He was like, yeah, man, I'm not going to get out of the car, but, like, I'll well, take a picture and I'll sign your stuff. Like that. <laughs> that's right. So okay, yeah, um, like I said, uh, Ron Emery's been in the band since the band started and all that, and stuck with them, even through the 80s and 90s. So um, this is my favorite TSOL album, Revenge. So he signed that for me. And uh, he was the only one that's still in the band that was on this album. And um, he was also in like this version of the band. You take a look, this is back in the 80s. You could tell it's from the 80s. Look at how everybody looks in that album cover. <laughs> and he's the most plain looking dude in the, the album. He was probably sick of all this 80s crap. He's like, that's it, I'm done. I want to be in a punk band. I'm done with this crap. But yeah, he signed it for me. So yeah, really cool. That's a, He was the one that I really, really wanted just because he's in all these albums. Right. But Brad stuck around. He got everybody's autograph. I also have to get Jack. Yeah, so show show them what else you got. Well, so, yeah, so I got their set list after the show. Not I only that, though, it. dude, look, it's handwritten. Yeah, they wrote it. It's kind of cool. cool. Got Code Bush is our famous song. And then No Consent is the first, oh, no. The second, second openers. opener. Yeah, so the other band was the third openers, but no consent. I got a hoogie from No Consent. Yeah, I put their sticker there because there's a spot. I'm like, they have a dope logo and it makes it look cooler. But yeah, I got all of them to sign the handwritten set list. So it was kind of cool. Very. Very cool, Brett. Sorry, I'm coming back here to bring more stuff to talk That's about. That's all I got. I'm not that quick, Kenny. Yeah, I got a lot to talk about. But um, before I get to like my final, um, what do you call it, through the mail successes. So cool. And um, a couple of purchases, or not purchases, but well, yeah, one purchase and little things I want to talk about. I just want to thank you all so much for watching this video. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. Hit that like button. I really do appreciate all the support. All right, guys. Well, I got one more for you. Um, <laughs> this is uh, Mr. Maurice. That looks like a sticker. Lamarcky. Now, if you don't recognize that name, I'm sure you don't know who Maurice Lamarcky is, but... No, I know who that guy is. Yeah, see? <laughs> you know the ca You know his voice. All right, well, he was the voice of Yosemite Sam in Looney Tunes. I didn't know his name. I don't know who he is, though. Yeah, it says, Kenneth, I likes you, but I still hates rabbits. Yosemite Sam. I like his... Out you know what's out. really cool about this? I've been waiting on him for four years. Mm. Really? Yeah, going on five. So Wait, really is that cool. the same guy? Yeah, the, yeah, no, he did, he's done many voices. Mm -hmm. So, and he's done even more voices, but these are my favorite characters. Um, yeah, so he also signed uh, Pepe Le Pew. Really, really cool. This one's my all-time favorite, dude. <laughs> Kenneth, that? eat your spinach, Popeye. <laughs> <laughs> I love it, man. I just, I what love it. What else does he do? Like, any other Looney Tunes? Oh, you would have to look him up. He's done so many, really? so many voices. And not just Looney Tunes, but like other like animated stuff. I like his autograph, it's so like clean. Yeah, yeah, it's really, really fancy. I totally dig it. This is what Brett was saying. Oh, that's so cool. Um, this is the Space Jam VHS cover. It's a little beat up, but um it's old school and I've had it for a while. I got the guy who Porky does Pig. Yeah, I got the guy who does the voice of Porky Pig. His name's Bob Bergen. And um yeah, now I got um Marie Mr. Maurice La Marky to sign it. I think I'm saying his name right. I could be doing it wrong, but yeah. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you so much to everybody who's signed for us. took the time to actually write different sayings on each. I know. Page. That's why I, I have to give them like an extra thank you. Like thank you, thank you, and thank you to everybody else that signed for us. Alrighty, guys. Well, um, you know this is gonna be like kind of like the sad part of like this video. I always try to take time to like say thank you to those that passed away like recently that signed for me. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for taking the time to sign, you know, and having that connection with us, you know, autograph collectors and whatnot. Um, this is the very first autograph I ever got in the mail, and um, it's the original drummer of the Misfits. His name is Manny Martinez, and he just recently passed away, like two at days ago. At age 69. At age 69. He would laugh at that, you know. But um, he was funny. I got to know him a little bit, you know, through Facebook, and he would, like, send, like, little... Uh, you know, Merry Christmas memes and the little funny things that, oh my God, dude, wait till I show you like some of the things he sent me. You're going to die. But uh, yeah, this is his autograph. This is him right in the front, Static Age. And I decided to wear the shirt today. This is a brand new shirt I picked up at Hot Topic. But um, little did I know he passed away. 
So um, yeah, so wearing that in his honor. Um, but yeah, so in I like that one. Yeah, I got a bunch of signatures on this one. I didn't bring the back of it, but I have more signatures on the back. But yeah, that's his autograph. And he's the very first drummer of the Misfits. So this is the very first single they put out called Cough Cool, and it's signed by Jerry and Manny. Still need to get Glenn, but he's really hard to get. But maybe one day. What is that? All right, you don't you don't recognize? This? I know who it is, but that's an actual autograph you get. Yeah. What's her name? Okay, her name is uh, Miss Eleanor Otto. We're talking about her in history, actually. That's a point for it. Really? Yeah. How recent? Like, maybe last year. Well, she passed away last month, mm. and at the age of 104. Jeez. Wasn't she in the Army? Yeah, she was, uh, yeah, uh, yeah. She was she, planes, right? Yeah, she was a Rosie the Riveter. She helped her out with the planes during the war and things like that. She was the last living one. She was, um, I think she was like 101 or 100 and, 102 when she signed for me. Here's a picture of her. That's pretty dope. Yeah, right? it's okay. really cool. And dude, check out this handwritten letter she wrote to me. Look how awesome her handwriting was for short. 101. This guy sounds like What's she saying? Whoa. Can you okay. see that? Yeah. You want me to read it? I'll try my best. Uh, went to a wedding in Ridgecrest. Okay, so she's talking about, you know, where I was writing from. Okay, so she went to a wedding in Ridgecrest a few months ago. So maybe that's why they're talking about her, too, you know. Um, seems like a nice place uh, to be. Uh, we, we Rosies are very proud to help our... I'm so sorry, guys. Our military. Right, country military. Yeah, as an effort is what it says. Winning was worth the many sacrifices i re i can read that uh thank this generation for honoring us women uh you are a true american eleanor Otto. and then it says okay and then it says her new address so yeah yeah, yeah really cool really cool yeah i remember i mailed this out like it's really cool she wrote, like took time to write and all that yeah very very cool so um yeah i had to just had to read that's that. pretty historical i know right i, I should, should be in like a museum actually <laughs> i know i maybe i'll well, i don't know i kind of want to hang on to it but donate i might donate them. it to our museum maybe just one of them that would be really cool um anyway so yeah Whoa. r.i.p to uh miss eleanor Otto. um okay Where's that card from she she mailed this to me okay all right all right all right brett's getting really excited okay so i gotta put on my shades so i look still i still look cool okay i wish i got her autograph yeah i know me too actually that's how you i too. that's how i found out that she passed away was i was trying to get her address for you and then i looked her up that's and right. i'm like oh she passed away dude that but, card is so cool okay this is um an actress named uh miss lydia green she was um an Ewok in uh, Star Wars. That's cool. Just so, an Ewok doesn't have a name. Yeah, well, this That's is... That's a cool picture. This is her right here. Oh, hey, really? Let me see that picture. Yeah, in um, Return of the Jedi. Oh, yeah, that's when they're in the at, -AT. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The giant walking thing. Yeah, so that's her. The and then she is. sent me this card as an extra. That actually might be worth something. <laughs> that's a Topps card, I think, isn't it? I think so, it's yeah. It's not focusing. Oh, dude, there the we back go. Is, I'm so jealous. Yeah, and there's the back that has like That's a little bit cool. of facts about her. You guys know her. the big stars have saw my room tour. Yeah, and the movies she's been in. So, yeah, really cool, man. <laughs> R.I.P. to Miss Lydia Green. Thank you for signing. Oh, you all has a name. It's Wuka, Wanuka. Wanuka. That's cool. Wonka, I think. Wonka. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but really cool. Star Wars. You don't know how to pronounce it. Yeah, 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 really cool. I found out that she passed away. I think last year. I didn't even know about it. That's so. unfortunate. Yeah, the A A T S T. I was right. Yeah. The next one, I was reading it. Yeah, really cool, bro. Um. Anyways, um. I yeah. I totally wish she was around because I, I would give the address to Brett so he could try getting her. Oh, dude, hold up. She also was one of the flying Ewoks. She performed a stunt for him. If you read that, it tells you the info. Yeah. Next, like focusing on these words. Is it focusing? It gets your own focus. There we go. I'm pretty sure she got those cards made just for her to like sign actually because I don't think you can just Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, totally, dude. I think it's really cool, man. I like I'll forever cherish all this stuff, it's like you a know. Good frame. <laughs> yeah, and um Whoa. here's another one that's pretty cool, isn't it? This is another guy who is I that think him? Yes. And he passed away at ninety four, I think. Look how good that signature how looks. So old. <laughs> Does that say ass? Shut up, Brett. <laughs> so okay. 
what Brett's talking about is um, this abbreviation right here. And uh, what that means is that he was a cinematographer. He was a cinematographer <laughs> in the movie Jaws. Who's and that's ass. him right here. His <laughs> oh name my God, is, Brett, shut up. His name is Mr. Bill but Butler. He was not an ass. He was a great man. <laughs> and he was kind enough no, to find this for me. Actually, he was an ass. He's an, how would you say that? What does that stand for? <laughs> Assist, when you said it, what was it? Associate, it's something, it means cinematography. I know the ending. So, cinematography. cinematography, does that mean I take pictures, kind of? Um, no, they work on like the actual like movie and the layout of the movie, you know, and like the background, like trying to capture everything that's in the shot. So, he uh, this is the director, um, Steven Spielberg, and then he's kind of like directing the director on like how to get like that good shot cool in the movie. cool to get all three of those guys assigned too. Yeah. The yeah. guy that controlled Josh. Steven Spielberg's really, really hard. If you get Steven Spielberg's autograph, it's worth a ton of money, dude. But um, yeah, so um, really cool, um, RIP. Like I said, he was like, I don't know, maybe like 91 when I wrote to him. I think he lived to like 93 or 94. But yeah, really cool. Uh, he also uh, did cinematography for uh, Rocky and Many other movies. Yeah, I oh, have. a bunch of bangers. Oh yeah, I have his autograph on other things, but this is the one I wanted to really share with you guys today. So really cool. And then I got one more. There's so many people that passed on the past couple of months, dude. So many. It's I don't even know how to fathom. But she has some people from the Grinch. <laughs> yeah, I want to do uh, that. Yeah, I want to do that. That would be really cool. Actually, um, I guess I could talk about this while we're still here. But um, poor Sashi's carrying the camera. Sorry, Sashi. It's okay. Um, Sarah Karloff was, um, you know who Boris Karloff was? He was the guy who did the voice of the Grinch, and he was the guy who was Frankenstein's monster, the original. His daughter's still alive, and she signs autographs through the mail. And I actually got her to sign, like, pictures of the Grinch and pictures of Frankenstein and stuff. What and she, she wrote do? Mary she Grinchmas. Cool? No, she's just um, his daughter, and she still writes... And uh, oh, actually, she did do something really cool. Um, she just preserves the legacy of like um, the Frankenstein monster and the Grinch and stuff. And she she's the one you know, like you go to the mall, and you see all this Grinch stuff, and you see Frankenstein stuff. She's responsible for it being out there. You know, she keeps the legacy of going. That's you know, cool. the family keeps it alive. So yeah, so I got her to sign things for me too, and I want to send her a picture of us with the Grinch. That would be really cool if we send that to her. You know, I think she would really like it. So, anyways, and she's up there in age, too. I think she's in her 80s. But, um, Damn. anyways, guys, we, that was like a side topic there. But I uh, hope you guys are still interested in this little uh, video. Let us know if you like this. If you want more videos like it. Um, anyways, guys, uh, this last one, um, this guy's name is Mr. Richard Mole. And he was in the movie, uh, Scary Movie Part 2. And he was the ghost. And I was so bummed because I didn't get his autograph in time. I wanted to really bad before he passed away. And he was also in that Turbo Man movie. In the very beginning, he was Turbo Man. Like, I was like, oh, I wish I would have gotten his yeah. autograph. Yeah, in the very beginning, he plays like the uh, Turbo Old Man cartoon. that's on TV. Yeah. So I was like, God, oh, I kind of wish I got I him. I just saw that movie. It's a banger. Yeah, but I went on eBay and I saw this come up like maybe a couple of days after he passed away. It was only 13 bucks. It's authentic. Yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah, if you look, it's like, can you see it through the light? Yeah, it's they, like, say, they yeah, it's signed in pen. Huh? They come out fantasy or anything? No, but I did compare it to like other things he signed, and it, it is legit. The seller was like trustworthy. He has a bunch of stuff that he has up for sale that he got in the mail and stuff. So yeah, thirteen dollars. Yeah, thirteen dollars. It's not the best quality. Like the picture is pretty rough looking, but for thirteen bucks, dude, for a celebrity who passed away, I felt like it was a no brainer and. I really wanted it, so really cool, guys. Well, alrighty, guys. Well, I actually got a letter here uh, from a very cool person, very special person that also does YouTube videos that I've been following for a very long time. As a matter of fact, um, kind of like one of my biggest inspirations for like autograph sending in the mail and you know uh, fan mail. So. Uh, he's been doing it for a very, very, very long time. So check out his channel. And of course, I'm talking about Caleb's Cards. Look him up. He's amazing. Uh, he sent me um, a holiday card, I believe it is. And I haven't opened this until now. Like, I did open it to see what it was, like, real quick. I'm like, I'm going to wait till a video to share this. So, Caleb, I'm sorry it's taken a while, but I'm finally going to open it for you. All right, let's see what we got here. 
Okay, well, like right off the bat, we got like a, a signed photo of Mr. Caleb's cards right here. Cards or carbs? Car, not carbs like food. No, cards like uh, sports so, cards. Sports cards, yeah. That's primarily what he collects, but um, he also collects like signatures from like um, entertainers and, you know, actors and things like that. So, yeah, really cool, Caleb. You have an awesome signature, brother. I'm definitely going to send you a, a, what do you call it, a what? Christmas card, a little Christmas photo from us, and we'll autograph it for you. Um, no, let me get to that. I think what he did was he sent me some autographs. So oh. I'll look at that real quick, but I want to read your card real quick. Hey, it's my middle name. <laughs> Brett's middle name, No. Oh, wow. Took, some, took the time to write something. Hey, Kenneth, how are you? Wanted to wish you a Merry Christmas. Thought you might enjoy the autos from my collection. Rock on. God bless. Caleb Craig. So really, really cool. And then he um, he put some um, little verses from the Bible. So I'll look into that as well. Got a Bible at home. So really, really cool. Uh, this wishes you a Christmas that is truly heaven blessed and a new year that turns out to be your best and happiest. So really cool. Very Thank nice. you so much, Caleb. Really, really do appreciate it, brother. Um, I'm gonna look at the autographs you sent me. You have his address, right? Yeah, I do. I'm gonna, I'm gonna you send. Got something him. coming from you, bud. Yeah, we got something for you coming your way. Um, I already see one that's pretty awesome. So, <laughs> all right. I think I know who it is. Yeah, other me side. too. Uh, Kenny, other side. Oh no, he's right. Oh shoot, I my got bad. Him, buddy. Get your camera, Lee. You don't talk. Sorry. Wow. Okay, well, this is a really nice picture. Let me get it. Make sure it's not sticking to the others. Wow, see, this is the type of, like, photo. Um, feel that. That's the what I need for, like, gold Sharpies not to rub off. I thought that was the guy from the doors. No, you're close. He's the uh, guy from the Beach Boys. Oh, really? Yeah, so Al Jardine. We got Al Jardine's autograph right here. I love the Beach Boys. And Caleb, of course, he knows that. And I actually saw him in concert with my mom. I have, like, these awesome memories of going to Hollywood, Pantages, him and Brian Wilson. And uh, I actually am familiar with this guitarist back here, too. I'm forgetting his name, but he actually recently passed away. So, yeah, I mean, this is a really cool shot, brother. And, um, yeah, thanks uh, for sending this signed photo to so me. So you got that through the mail, too, then, huh? Yeah, I'm assuming. Did you get this through the mail? You probably let me know in the comments. But really cool, huge Beach Boys fan. So thank you so much, Caleb. And, um, oh, wow, he also sent me a picture of uh, <laughs> one of my celebrity crushes here. He's He's been watching the channel. I know he has. Uh, we got Aubrey Plaza right there. What does she do? Really cool. You know, Aubrey Plaza, you see... Um, the most recent Child's Play, the Chucky movie, yeah. the newest one. Uh, she plays the mom in that one. And um, mm. trying to think of other things that she's done. She's just a really good actress. She did the voice, or not the voice, but she was in the Grumpy Cat movie. Mm. Yeah, I don't think she she did the voice, but she was in that. And then she was in Dirty Grandpa with Robert De Niro. You see that one? Yeah. Yeah, so she she's an awesome actress. So. Really, really cool. Thank you so much, Caleb. You got two of my favorite people here. So I really do appreciate oh, is it. Is that him? Yeah, and that's a nice picture of you right there, brother. Thank you so much. Thank you for signing. Heck yeah. Yeah, I'll have to show you his channel. He, he's got some awesome stuff. And he still makes videos to this day. You know, he's one of the last people that still do it. Like, one of the original people. Because there's not so many of them doing it anymore. You know, life gets tough. You know. People get busy. They stop writing. I was one of those people for a while. So, um, yeah, hats off to you for keeping it going, man. I think cool. he's at least been doing it for 10 years. I know that. Maybe really? longer. Yeah, so really cool. Thank you so much, Caleb. You rock, brother. Uh, do you have anything else to share, bro? Absolutely. <laughs> All right. Well, that is our video, guys. Let us know if you want more like it, you know. Um, more should be coming. Yeah, more should be coming. We're going to start writing again. I think and... actually Sarah's supposed to go print out some pictures. Yeah. I yeah. know for sure. I've been talking to Doc from the Misfits on Facebook, so he said he'll sign some things for me, so. Very cool, man. Fingers yeah. crossed. Fingers Pretty crossed cool. we get some more bangers in the mail. Still waiting for Doyle. <laughs> Doyle of the Misfits, man. Answer your phone, buddy. <laughs> no, dude. Have you seen how big that guy is? He'd kick all of our asses. <laughs> yeah, we would all die. <laughs> Anyways, he's like, what did you say? Yes. <laughs> but it looks like Hulk on steroids. <laughs> oh, man. Anyways, guys, uh, well, that is our video. Let us know if you got anything awesome in the mail, if you're an autograph collector like us. And, um, 
Yeah, keep in touch. Kenneth Ramon. Brett. From the Black Heart Strings. Sashi's right over there. Signing off. Brett. Yo, dog, I, I have a song that I'm thinking of in my head. I don't know the name of it, but I think you know it. Can you play it for me, please?